Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we have the Eashim trash can. So this is what we're going to have a look at today. It's a 2S whoop, if you like. It has extreme power in 2S, but you can fly it quite stably indoors if you just manage your throttle well. But outside, it's a little demon. Really is one, this is one of my favourite things I've bought recently. I, I really do love this. I've watched a lot of videos, people saying this is a, big, a beginner's friendly one. I'm not 100% certain actually, because if you're a beginner, I'd still probably recommend the Max Tiny Hawk. This is quite a bit slower and a bit more forgiving, whereas this has a fair bit of speed. If you don't manage your spot well indoors, you're going to be crashing this thing all over the place. You can fly it on 1S, hence why we have two leads on the back. So you can fly it on 1S if you want to fly it indoors and you get a little space, a little plug that goes in there and you also just run on one of these batteries, that's why it comes with two. How you hold the battery in is a different story because this is the one thing I hate about this is these batteries do not fit very well at all. You're going to see from the flight footage at the end, I think the batteries have moved about. If you look at it closely in the sky, you'll see a probably one of the batteries has moved down like that because that's what tends to happen. Now, fortunately, in the kit with this, you get this very nice box and you get another two batteries. You get some instructions for binding and what have you. You get this little accessory bag and you get a charger so I, I, I don't recommend this charger by the way it's it very hot very quickly so one thing for me that's key into this is what's in here now from my point of view I'm not sure why you'd buy a 2s whoop and then one flight 1s to fly it indoors because you can fly this thing well on 2s you just have to manage your throttle and like I say the Tiny Hawk to me is a better starter model on something if I was just going to fly indoors and indoors only I'd definitely be going for the Tiny Hawk over this. However, this is one of my favourite drones like I said and it possibly is my favourite drone at the minute. I know I changed my mind a lot but I've been flying this an awful lot since I got it. So it comes with this in the pack. Now, I would have preferred this to be soldered on in the other wires given as an option tier. So I'm going to solder this on, the reason I haven't yet is because obviously I've reviewed it on the batteries that come with it and don't get me wrong, these batteries are perfectly adequate for doing the job. You don't get the longest flight time in the world but they do do the job. So you get no issue with them at all. But I'm going to do them, so I've got some 400 milliamp hour 2S batteries, 70C that I'm going to run on this, 7140 I think they are, if you can believe that. But I'm going to solder this on to the board which is just under here i have had the top off this so just under here now depending on which version you buy of this it's got a crazy b f4 board that comes with the receiver installed and the receiver button is actually you can't see it now but it's actually under this bit of foam that i've put here and it is not the best thing to get to i found it difficult to bind this i had to get a little pin and push it down so one thing, so the one, the two things I really don't like about this is why you're not given 2S batteries with it and you have the option then to adapt it and also the bind plug, which isn't the bind switch, sorry, not plug, the bind button, which isn't that easy to get to. But apart from that, I absolutely love this thing. So it comes with a Cadex camera installed that is quite, quite decent, uh, quite, quite decent indeed. You're going to see from the flight footage at the end how good the camera looks. Sorry about that, you've the camera a little bit. You're going to see at the end of the video how good the camera looks. It's a Cadex camera, it's an EOS 2, and I've recorded it using my FTX goggles. So you're going to see what the footage looks like from that. I am very zoomed in with the camera, so this is why it looks so big, trust me, it's tiny. At the back of there you have LEDs, which are programmable on beta flight, and you have a little trash can logo. Why they called it a trash can is quite beyond me but they did so it tells obviously has brush motor so the, the biggest problem with this thing is the props pop off so i put my props on with a bit of glue so just a little touch of glue on there for the props and you'll find they don't pop off you do get a set of spares so you but you only get you only get a spare set of 
um, grey. So it comes with red and you get the smoke grey ones in the bag. So it's hence why I might have got the different ones on. So it has got turtle mode, it does have smart audio, and you can buy it in DSM2, DSMX, Fly Sky, FR Sky. You can download the manual if you go onto Crazy B site, there is a manual to download for the board and this indeed so if you go on to there you can get the manual I highly recommend this thing I do recommend it if, especially if you're someone that's, a, that's had a little bit of experience flying I think it's really really nice let me just power it up for you let me turn on I've obviously got some of the Nirvana it will be going on to the jumper I've just been moving models across to the jumper just because the idea is I'll fly the jumper T16 as much as I can to give you some feedback on it but at the minute I have to report everything has been absolutely superb with it. I've had no issues with it whatsoever. I've got quite a few models on it now, but I will connect this to it at some point and fly this on. So, these are two batteries. They simply plug into the... Let me just plug it in. Let's put it off the camera when I'm plugging it in. There you go. So... When you see the footage at the end, you probably, I've changed my lights, the lights are actually all red, I think, when you get it, I've just put blues on the end, but when you see the image of this at the end, the, v, the video recording coming from the goggles isn't going to actually show you how good the image is on this, it's got a really nice, clean image coming back for it, and the colours are nice and vibrant, not too poppy, contrast nice, and it's a really nice thing to fly with the camera that's on there, so I do highly recommend this camera, I think it's a great little camera. Uh, I've had this actually in a cam. I've actually had this in something else, and the camera wasn't as good. So, so on mine I have. So I have my set up on. Hmm. So I have arm. Then I have my flick flip mode, and then I have my three position switch. So let me just see if I can let the turtle mode in the video. If you watch closely, you'll see the turtle mode working anyway, but. You have to mess around with these switches to get it to work. As you can see, it's, it really is a little bit violent there. So, the turtle mode does work fine. It's probably not the best kind of surface to do it on here. But you'll see, you can hear the power when you start this thing up. It's got a load of grunt. But I'll just show you that you can, even though it's on 2S, fly it really nicely and stably on the table in front. You just gotta manage your throttle and you can fly around it like this indoors. It's probably not the best um, place to show it you, but you can fly it nicely. I haven't filmed it inside, I just filmed outside because it was a greyish day, but at least it wasn't raining and it wasn't too windy. It's about four miles an hour, you'll see the video in. So I highly recommend this. I think it's a fantastic buy. Comes in around 72 quid at the minute. You probably find it less if you if you wait around for a offer to appear. I will leave a dis the link for Banggood if you want to buy it from there. But I've had some other Eosheen products in the past and they range from bad to really bad. Very few things I've had a good. This was a massive shock to me. I remember watching the first video I seen. I think it's it was UAV Futures showing me how good it was, and I thought, oh my god, I can't leave the machine. And I still can't. I don't think they manufactured this. I think it's probably been made from there by someone else. But it really is a fantastic piece of kit. So enjoy the video that's coming up. Have a fantastic day.
Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.